It's April 24th, 2013. But I need... No, 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 no. Do whatever you're doing. Let's go. Oh, it's <laughs> it's April 24th, 2013, and say idle thumbs to skip this podcast. This is Idle Thumbs 103. I'm Chris Remo. I'm Jake Rodkin. I- <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nick. No, by all means. I'm Sean Vanneman, here with Nick Brecken. Oh, 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 man. oh. <laughs> who? I wonder who that is. Huh. Go ahead and introduce And I'm yourself. leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... This is now, like... After is this just now the, the this the, is just war. What this yeah. actually just, means that yeah. this episode is going to be erased because we just had a hilarious intro, right? Of based course. on exactly. if one or two is any. Yeah. God, don't say that because now I'm like, should we pause the podcast and make sure the Motu is not eating the podcast? <laughs> oh no! Here, you guys keep talking, and oh, I'm going to go doubt. plug the headphones in. in. Okay, just every once in a every like twenty minutes, I'm going to check it. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> That's some good paranoia that just happened. I, That's because we're playing so much Neptunes right now. It's like we're just we're in paranoid mode. I can't even look at you in the face. I know you can't. What is that? I cards, can't cards even look chest. at him. Much <laughs> like a game of Neptune's Pride. I can't, seriously? It's you like so much. I haven't done it It's not that I hate you. Because <laughs> I don't hate you. It's that I loathe you. <laughs> like, I don't hate you. Like, that thing, like... That's like walking around like, oh, I hate you. Brickin', 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 brickin'. Instead brickin'. of just a slow simmer, it's an ongoing right. simmer. But it's just sort of like I see of him and I know that he's well, a monster. Thing is, All right, like, Nick, and thing. I went out, Nick and I got dinner on Friday and he was like explaining this whole galactic geopolitical situation. And all the things that – I'm not going to like sh- sh- spoil any of it obviously. But like <laughs> everything you're describing is like, wow, there is no way to avoid – just alienating everybody by the end of the game. Like, right. there's just no... Hold right. on. We need to back up for half a second to yeah, talk about what's do. going on because there's a Telltale Games office game of Neptune's Pride that's going on. Neptune's Pride 2, two Triton. Triton. Which Nick and Sean are both playing and I'm not playing in it. But <laughs> some people are under pseudonyms. Some people aren't. Some people sit next to each other. Some people don't. Some people are off- isolated in offices and have no idea what the uh, like intra-office communication is. Some people listen to Idle Thumbs. Some people host Idle Thumbs. <laughs> so it's already on the meta level people. a complete <laughs> clusterfuck. Some, one person isn't a robot, right? One person's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Walter, Nick's dog, is playing. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Is that yellow, the one that only has three stars and is just a shadow? Yeah, he went AFK, so he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, really, really, really quickly, I guess, just in case there's anyone who didn't hear last week's and don't know what this game is, I'll try to summarize this quite fast. This is a real-time strategy game that's played at a glacially slow pace, so the game takes, you know, days, two months to complete, usually a few three weeks. Three to four weeks. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you launch ships from star system to star system to try and capture people ter- people's territories, but because it moves so slowly... Um, you set yourself up for crazy, weird, like middle of the night, like disasters, and there's just treachery to the extreme because um, the game is very cutthroat. So anyway, you said the word treachery, right and his body got hard like a snake. <laughs> no. Like he I got all tense. Nick fully tensed up. You're like, treachery. I, no, what actually just happened What are they there, thinking? What are they referring to? It <laughs> dawned on me that I hadn't checked Neptune's Pride before the podcast, and there's going to be an hour now where I'm out of it. Meanwhile, Sean That's is just, just glancing just under the table every few minutes. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. This is, this is really making me sick. New intern is actually managing my Neptune's Pride. At, oh, you yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of his t- billable yeah. tasks. Yes. <laughs> no, today I walk into work this morning, and I, I, go, I go to my desk, and... I'm like, um, I want. I feel like coffee, so I go. I go, I go to the break room. Sorry, when you said I feel like coffee, yeah. I didn't picture that as like I need a coffee. I, I, I feel the same way that you do. I feel like you like, like Pam Greer. Yeah, all right, exactly. <laughs> wow, I didn't hear it that way either. But that oh, was really? even funny. I, like I instantly coffee. saw Pam Greer. I just <laughs> thought. I thought. Just thought he meant like hot and bitter. <laughs> that's that's no flies. It's fine. Yeah. So Caffeinated. I went to the break room. Harrison Pink, who's playing in the game, our friend was there start talking to harrison just about stuff just chewing fat whatever walk back to my desk 
Sean has now sat at his seat, which is next to mine, sees me and Harrison talking, oh, and then just shoots me a look like I just killed his like not even like I killed his dog. Like he knows that I'm going to kill his dog, and I haven't. And done neither it yet. of you are going to mention like, it. Like he knows he knows that I that I slept with his his wife, and it's just 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 like that. The, my my death is already being worked out. <laughs> In yeah. his head. So you, I feel like the protagonist from a simple man or whatever yeah. it is, a serious man. A serious, a serious man. man. Yeah. I yeah. got that movie confused. Where you're just you're just bubbling with impotent rage. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. I just, I just sit down and I'm I'm checking my email and Sean just goes, oh, I'm talking to Harrison, huh? <laughs> Talk to your coworker who you Talk collaborate to the guy with. That 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 you're on a project with. It's not like that. He's huh. on a project yeah. with him. Huh. Talking to Harrison. Huh. Funny. Yeah. Funny how that works, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. This, I turn my back and the bullshit begins. <laughs> <laughs> you joked. You're serious, though. You were no, seriously worried. No, I just worried. don't trust the anybody. The whole day you were sending me in I don't trust anybody. Oh, you really want me to do this? Right? Because, okay, okay hold on, hold on. Interesting. <laughs> so... <laughs> curious. There's, I, again, it's like there's a, lev- there's a level of subterfuge and brinksmanship that has to... that comes into play in this game. So I don't oh, yeah. want to yeah. name names. But at one point... <laughs> Except for Nick Brecken. Nick leans over like, to me and he's like, well, this is why you need to do this. This is why you need to do this thing. And this thing could be anything from make a trade with somebody to attack somebody to pretend to t- attack somebody, whatever. Or definitely like do a, like partner with another group on the map. One of these things. He says, you have to do this. And this is why. Because this and this and this and then this and this and this. I would totally do this if I were you. And that's when my ears just went... Damn. Yeah. It was like yeah. seriously this yeah. beautiful yeah. mind moment. Even as, you, like, even as you were I saying, I would totally it. do this if I were you. I would totally do this if I were you. If I were you. If I were you. And I looked and went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The Nick. whole day was really. And did you see me sort of weirdly smiling while you kept talking? Oh yeah. Yeah, because oh, I was I like, I'm being played. I'm yeah. being played right now. It was amazing. Yep. It was like an out of body experience. No, oh, yeah. There's... Like I saw it all happening in slow motion. He kept talking, and you yeah. gotta do nothing. And I'm like, oh my god. It was like my Kaiser Soze moment, except Kaiser Soze was still in the office. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, this game is horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. It's also your favorite game. Yeah, yeah. It's tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely good. You can definitely play it and give it money. Yeah. 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 But I'm I'm going full I mean this is public information. Oh, except people wouldn't know Not everyone knows who you are. Who I am. Yeah, you better Never you, mind. You better watch it. You better watch it. <laughs> I'm going full Although, retreat into my into myself. The different things that are happening in the Telltale in the Telltale <laughs> Neptune's Pride Two game are interesting because you guys sit next to each other. You guys can kind of vaguely see each other's screens. Right. You guys know which color each other are. Whereas yeah. I know that um Sean Finney, our video guy, who yeah. has an office around in the, like the nook where he I you forgot can't he was see. playing until right now. He's <laughs> fuck. He's, I know who he is. He listens to the podcast. Yeah. Yes, I know. Sean Finney uh, messaged me. Yeah, but yeah, he. I was over. <clears> I was looking at a I'll trailer at, uh, at his late. desk today, <laughs> and he was just like, "I think I know who Nick Herman is." That um, oh, maybe he didn't even know. He I don't know. He he knows who a couple people are. But oh, he has so no funny. idea who most people are, so he probably doesn't know. God, everyone's still behind me. Sean Finney. Tom- okay, <laughs> Sean Finney. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Hopefully you listen to this on the day it comes out. Uh, I want you to take the elevator down to the second floor. I want you to go into the bathroom blam, on the second blam, floor. Blam, what time? I want you to go. <laughs> what time? At 1.30, but he knows what that means. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> go to the second stall and just wait. <laughs> Then I'll forget. <laughs> Leave the briefcase on the left. <laughs> He's gonna be found dead yeah. at, at right, one forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Both um, Nick Brecken and Pierre Charette's fingerprints found at the scene. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the crazy thing is, so with, with like, oh my god, that was like that was a crazy. He's moment. gonna open oh, up that the was a crazy and it's just talk about this. Yeah, yeah I think with a rack yeah, shotgun sitting yeah. on the toilet with your feet up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like <laughs> underneath. <laughs> yeah. So um, Pierre god. Charette, who's the lead writer of Fables. Or just with um, his laptop, like above the toilet. Yeah. Right. Anyway, go ahead. What if she, what if Finney opens that stall and now we find out that everyone in the Telltale Neptune's Pride game is, is also a stall? thumbs listener? So they're all just there, like <laughs> right. just now pretending awkward, to be casual. Oh my God, the whole room is just, 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 yeah. just you get all, in the elevator all of them and playing it off as like meeting like, right. your buddy in yeah, the bathroom. Get in the elevator. Elevator. Hands everyone for also has their phone open to Neptune's Pride, just inconspicuously. Oh, I just checking my Twitter. Did you could just clearly see space? Oh, look at the time, one thirty. Weird. Oh, yeah. I gotta go. Don't you have a meeting right now? Aren't you? Don't you have? No, I actually something? don't. No. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. It's interesting. Just stay in this bathroom. Oh, but that's. The, I mean, it, we've said this enough on the, about this game. But 
I've this is the time where so much of when I played last time, I was just all of my communication was external to the game. There's an in-game message system, and I use use that a little bit. But I would just go to people's offices mm. and say, like, hey, man, this is what we got to do. Once I kind of figure out who people were. Yeah. <clears throat> but this time, way more, I'm using, like, in, I'm using chat outside of, like, just Gmail chat, text messages a lot. So it just makes me feel like a terrorist <laughs> when I'm just, like, oh, getting a text. Like, oh, yeah, a lot. So I haven't been texting you. Oh, no, I texted you this weekend. No, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> um, but uh, lots of text messages. The, what's funny is, like, checking down moment. which of those methods he has mm-hmm. yeah. he he's used been communicated with. with. Yeah. There's group messages in game in this one, which there wasn't in Neptune's Pride. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah, you can tell. Which is interesting. So allegiance is. I've heard a lot about threads. crazy group methods. No, I've actually. I've that was my. That was like my first foray oh, into political. I've only, also was the group message. It does a thing that is fantastic unless you're on an office LAN, which is it says so and so has the same IP address as another player in this game. You should assume that they are allies. Yeah. So that if you are yeah, playing on an internet game, but then it's just like two oh, guys who are man. college dorm mates, they show up. It puts a disclaimer at the bottom of the message window saying you might be being played by these guys. But that's crazy. Yeah, yeah the Telltale really Office game, everyone's on the same right, subnet. Right, so right, right. Uh, disaster. Yeah, so that, that means nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was saying is, and I think this is okay to talk about. But so Pierre oh, yeah. is um, lead writer of Fables. Also, once he became lead writer of Fables, he I think ironically, but now he sort of owned it, changed his Steam handle to Wolf Cop. Wolf Cop Two. No, his Steam handle is Wolf no, Cop. Too, oh, yeah, jumping the Cop. gun on the story, Jake. Yeah. So then when we oh, started well, playing, Wolf Cop the Two g- is, is just the thing that's existed before. Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Wolf Cop 2. <laughs> Is that the sequel to Wolf Cop? <laughs> yeah. Wolf Cop 2. <laughs> Not the Robocop 2? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, um, Bane. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the game, there was a guy named Wolf Cop Mark 2. <clears throat> yeah. So, we were just like, oh, that's Pierre. Yeah. Because we had... <gasps> right. Yeah. For two, <laughs> For days, two days, we assumed. We were just like, okay. Pierre. And I would look over and I'd get a message from Pierre, but Pierre wasn't at his desk. Right. Just assume he's on his phone. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Master. And I was kind of peeking yeah. through my monitors like, yeah. oh, what is going on? And then the all thing. of a sudden, like, you looked at me and you went, Wolf Cop is not Pierre. <laughs> and we had already discussed so much about Pierre. Oh, I know. Like, like, well, if Wolf Cop does this and we'll do this. Yeah. And if well, Wolf Pierre's Cop does that, do well, Pierre, Pierre will probably do this. Pierre, Knowing Pierre, Pierre as a yeah. person, he's going to do this. So just, you know, be careful and da 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 Make sure... But then when we realized that it wasn't him, it yeah. was like, it was a like a just tectonic shift. All the kinds well, of actually, moments. Actually, the, the, way, the way it was realized. Every day is a new broken coffee right. cup. And yeah. <laughs> the way I realized it, though, was when I was talking to Wolf Cop. Or no, actually, no, that's not true. I was talking to somebody that I thought was Wolf Cop. Or no. What? I don't even know. I would, no, I was talking to somebody you that I didn't so I, didn't, I, I was just talking to a random player and I was like, Nick's like, here. I was like, <laughs> he's so deep in his own no, no. lives. Yeah, I know. I really am. Oh, God. So I, I was like, oh, who's Wolf Cop? They're like, why are you, who's asking? And I was like, I'm asking. And they were like, who are you? And I told him. He was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm you Wolf told Cop. Him I'm Pierre. And they're like, oh, weird. I'm yeah, Pierre. Right. No, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so and so. And he was like, oh, I'm Wolf Cop. And I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> don't, don't put me on. He's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Wolf Cop. It went on for like five minutes. I was like, no, you're not. I know Wolf Cop's got to be Pierre. He's like, oh, that's interesting because I'm Wolf Cop. <laughs> Fine. He was like, you want to come look at my screen? It, it, it just became insane. Yeah. That's another level of it is that people oh, get – Oh, man. I, when, you're cl- like, when you build a real alliance, you'll let them look at your screen. And right. like that is – Sharing real happens. hard information is a big step. I yeah. remember in the old in uh, when we played huge. the crazy game Nick, Nick, that we played years ago, people would send like yeah. screenshots of their screen. Oh, no. We could Photoshop that. If I got a, if, oh, if I got a thing oh, from him, if I got a screen cap from Nick, I would <laughs> instantly so know it was not. Here's true. the thing: I Do know, I know what, that. I know right now. I know what's happened. Somebody shared something that I've done with you or something. Like I know you've got you. <laughs> There's got to be a reason for why you are so now accusatory you're today. you're admitting there is justification for it. <laughs> That's so good. Because, no, it's not. <gasps> because so, sh- let's just all keep talking, Nick. No, you okay. understand. I've I've spun. Oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't even care. Fuck it. I like that. It's this game. Everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's doing it. It's, it's fun. Nick, Nick is just in a room with a one like with a two way mirror in it, just smashing his bloody <laughs> ruins of himself all over the walls, screaming, "I know you're out there." And we're just like, <laughs> no one said like there's been no sensory no, input because, given but, to Nick. Oh, I had so much. Successful. Who are you? <laughs> That's so much successful duplicity you? already. It's so good. I love it. I love this game. It makes me into a terrible person. But I love it. <laughs> that was Nick's last What's note. So funny. I know. Can I be honest about something? You're gonna have to edit this. So out. today I got. Oh no, that's no. not true. I got. <laughs> when I got paranoid about Nick, it was only because of the way he said, "That's what I would do." 
That's so funny because and I And then de- now you're just like somebody told you something that I did and it's like <laughs> I literally have zero missives from anybody about about Nick. <laughs> See, I accept that people go back and forth on him all over the map. They're just like, oh, I know. Green is my ally. Green is a snake. God, that's so good to hear. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm so pleased. We got to bleep that color out. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Bleep that color out. Oh, shit. Well, anyways. <laughs> Sorry, we have to. I was just going to say, I've or I just... heard that in the... This is the dumbest... I heard that like in the cadence of "Take the Power Back" by Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> bleep, gotta bleep the car out. Our <laughs> <laughs> bulls on parade is that this? So. That was different. Those are different songs, actually. Those are yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every Rage Against the Machine song sounds the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Anyway, let's let's move on. <sighs> this is this is getting a little. No, I, what baseball. I was going to say though yeah. is that I've used the cool in game the in game messaging almost exclusively, and so I'm going to have this perfect record of everything I've done. I'm really looking forward. to Oh that. man, mine's. Yours is all Dude, I write place. notes down in meetings. Yeah, that's fine. On paper. That's good. I can, and then sometimes I can, sometimes, to preserve I can find your that. iPad. There's also like a level of I hope intel. You're burning it. We can I guess really we're be done. not done. No, sorry. There's also <laughs> just a fine. level of intel that I know I don't want printed. Right. Because that's. Nah. Yeah, no. Yeah. I I should be more careful, but I don't. I don't really care. Anyway, fine. let's go. See in hell. I feel like we should talk about um, flipping pickles into hamburgers. Probably. Because we didn't ever talk about that, and it's my favorite thing that's happened. In the year 2013, Are you dying? I'm I'm burping uncontrollably, but very at a very light level. I thought you were having a stroke. Wait, I think we should talk about flipping burgers, flipping pickles into hamburgers. <laughs> Sorry, it smells like pickles right now. <laughs> I know. There's not a whole lot to talk about with this, except that it's real. Can you walk it back? Because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, it came to light a few weeks ago. I think that Sony was granted patents for insane marketing technology including one that was a like for a, a video game console it's for it's for a an unnamed but presumably next generation video game console it's one of those patents that could just be insane uh, but could also just appear and terrorize people but it's all these ways to integrate advertisements with the sort of next generation next generation console experience and one of them was say mcdonald's to end advertisement. So it was a guy whose game had been interrupted by a full screen McDonald's commercial, and then he stood up and said McDonald's. He like stood up and reached for the sky. Reached for the sky and yeah. says McDonald's. McDonald's. And then it cut back to two people sword fighting, which means that yeah. the game had returned. And then the guy's yeah. back in his, in his yeah. seat playing um, video games. So that's insane. It's like tw- it's like 1984 shit. When you look at the diagrams yeah. of it, the actual patent illustration is amazing because the size of the TV is like the size of the wall of this office, and the guy's just standing in front of it saying McDonald's. <laughs> and then the ad skips. The other one, which is so much better and so insane, has a picture of a huge hamburger on the screen, and the guy's looking at it. Like it's he's just also- a blank, it's just a screen with just a hamburger. Yeah, it was just a hamburger. And then the uh, text comes up that says, throw pickle at hamburger to speed up commercial. And then the guy sort of does like a lob motion with a PlayStation Move controller. And you see a little cartoon pickle land on the hamburger. <laughs> and then text comes up that says, what does it say? Make it your it says, way. make it your way. It's like, And then the guy's just <laughs> once again sitting back in the couch, yeah. like completely <laughs> like comatose, like it's staring McDonald's, at this enormous It's a McDonald's ad with Orwell a Big Brother screen. TV that you throw a pickle at to speed it up. And then it says the wrong version of the Burger King slogan. Like, it's just out of control. Control. But also, it's super gross. It's super gross. And I think this goes around way past gross and do a whole new... Well, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, it's okay. place. No, it definitely there's, does. There's two things that are that this came to mind that happened today. One of which right. we should talk about in a second, which is Pizza Hut on Xbox. But oh, the, I didn't see this. I didn't see oh, that man. Either. Okay. That was McDonald's. Oh, no. Pizza. Oh, it's an app? Oh, right. But, oh, uh, the thing that made me think of this today was that Kirk posted yeah, a vine, like Kirk vine of his, like, <laughs> Xbox, like, home screen. It was dashboard, like, yeah. My home screen is now just slow footage of people eating McDonald's wraps. Oh, right. And he had yeah. a vine of, like, like the lower right corner of his Xbox yeah. screen was just a, 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 a soundless video of just people putting a big old McDonald's wrap in their mouth and chewing it. And then it would cycle to another person who would put a big wrap in their mouth. And it was just, it was just cycling for, I don't know. God, that's how it worked. Is there a face yeah. button that you yeah. can use to access it? Or was it just like there, like a little, like, like it was an ad. It was like, a little ad spot. Oh, so you could highlight it and then expand it to get yeah, a full yeah, yeah. screen oh, yeah. slow motion McRap. Well, I, don't, well, I don't know what it would give um, you, but I don't know. So I saw that and forgot about it already. But the thing that I saw today, because I've we we posted those commercials to the uh, or those patents to the Thumbs oh, yeah. Blog. Yeah, you can go to blog that idle thumbs up and scroll like, down a bit. You can see the Sony. Patents. They've been cracking us up off the podcast for a while. Like the idea, God, fucking flip pickle in a hamburger. Um, but I was on Newgrounds today, and a friend of mine wanted to look at uh, a game that he had just posted. So I created an account for the first time. 
And the Newgrounds CAPTCHA, the pr- prove that you're not a robot, was um, enter the phrase that you see above to, pr- to register an account. And the phrase that I saw above was not present, but there was a men's deodorant video ad there, which I had to press play on, watch the entire video oh all the God. way through. Oh my God. And then the slogan for the deodorant showed up in quotes. And that's the phrase that I had to type oh, in and no. press enter to create an account. Shit. And I was like, no, I flipped a pickle into the hamburger. I did it. I said it. Make it your I way. I said McDonald's. <laughs> oh, my God. I did. That's an amazing amount of <laughs> the balls dangerous. they have to think that people will <clears> sign up. Like, it's already such a bitch to he sign did, up though. for anything. He did it. I did it. I know. I made it my New way. It must be incredible. <laughs> um, it's weird because it's new grounds. Like, that seems like the sort of I thing. I know. The most, like, irreverent. If yeah. you hold your audience in such contempt that you can do that, that it feels like I'm sure there are illicit parts of the internet that do that all the time. You want to download this fucking Super Nintendo ROM? Right. Type McDonald's right now. Yeah. yeah. And we will collect yeah, yeah, an yeah. anonymous point one cents from you being that slave. Right, But yeah. Newgrounds is, like... Got the fucking guy in a tank, like, weird, like, take back Tiananmen Square imagery as their logo. Like, they're all about, like, power to the people, blah, 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 blah. T- make it your way. Like, I was destroyed. Yeah. A part of my soul died. But also, later today, McDonald's and uh, or McDonald's, uh, Microsoft announced that they teamed up with Pizza Hut to put out a new Pizza Hut app so you can order pizzas from your 360. <laughs> oh, God. Including pasta, breadsticks, and salad. It's such a classic video. Visit pizzahut.com slash wizard for your free Xbox <laughs> app. <laughs> God, Pizza that, Hut, make it your way. It's weird that Pizza Hut <laughs> seems to on like a, a, a bi decadely basis. I know. Yeah, I like know. Implement a pizza command yeah. into a video game. <laughs> yeah. the EverQuest 2 that had Slash yeah. Pizza, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slash Pizza in WoW just makes your guy dance around or something, I think. But Probably, in EverQuest yeah. 2, it makes a Pizza Hut interface pop up. Right. But now your Xbox has like the mass market Slash Pizza. It's. I, yeah. We're in a weird place right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Ne- get ready for next generation. It's That's sort of the difference, though, between, I mean, the people. Smart people talk about this, not me, but of thinking of every one of your audience members as somebody who's worth five cents this month or 10 cents this month or 25 cents this month versus each one of your audience members as somebody you could offer a cool product to who may pay for it if it's good enough. And like those are two completely different ways to think about a person experience thing the thing you made the upside of the one where they're worth five cents a month of being taken by typing make it your way so much bigger potentially that it's just right not yeah, worth yeah. considering being good i guess yeah but i agree yeah. with you that one is obviously worse than the other but if what you want is to make all the money off all the people you make them stand up and say mcdonald's <laughs> so that the ad can move on <laughs> God, it's just it's WarioWare, but it's real. I was, yeah, also. That, yeah, I was yeah. trying to think of the game. Like, yeah, flip the pickle into the hamburger, and then it's saying a wacky, yep. pithy phrase. Yep, it's just what life WarioWare, WarioWare is. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> it's as if WarioWare then, like... Yeah. Well, that's what's... <laughs> WarioWare Crazy Taxi matchup. Right. You know how often did you ever people play Sneak call... King? You know, yeah, I did. You know, how, you know how often people call at this point for Nintendo to give up on hardware and just become a software company? Just imagine the version what of McDonald's that a... is just WarioWare is just an iPhone app where you have to like Ugh. where every activity is just a sponsored thing with from Axe body spray or or whatever. You know, like I you feel can like we've been in this world for a real. while, right? No, I know we have. That's yeah. why I'm saying it's feasible. I don't know. It's not to that same degree that you're playing a like the crossover of like Hulu style advertising into the game space doesn't exist yet. Yeah, and. I mean, people experimented with it in the 90s. Like, I remember um, Berkeley Systems did You Don't Know Jack, The Net Show, which was the weekly online You Don't Know Jack that was in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Like, And then they sort of disappeared for 10 years, and the mm-hmm. same thing came back on Facebook. But that um, would do five questions or so, then say, we're going to a commercial break, mm-hmm. and then a flash ad for, like, wrestling on TBS would play, and then you'd play round two of the game. And I was destroyed. I was like, wow, this is the future of downloadable games. And then they went out of business. But, but like I never, I never really mind. What, yeah. is, what is the implication of that? Oh, all I was going to say is, sorry, that hasn't really become a thing. <clears throat> but it's interesting to see that now that it's potentially going to become a thing, people are immediately taking it to the next level. Of it's not just that your game pauses and a commercial shows up; it's that your game pauses and then a commercial shows up and pauses until you require until, and then the commercial requires your acknowledgement that you're observing it, mm-hmm. which is different. That's like you can't leave the room and make popcorn like during school. your commercial. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's <laughs> the online traffic school of of ads. 
I mean, is it is it that it won't go away until you do something, or is it that it's just going to play all the way through and you can speed it up if you? Sorry, you're right. Something? The yeah, commercial yeah. pausing until you speak is not patented. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 That that's that's okay, at least sorry, it's not patented yeah, by that's Sony. Gen three. Yeah. They probably yeah. didn't patent None it because someone else the, already yeah. owns it. Yeah, None right. of this is out of the question. For instance, yeah. so I just funny. completed a registration today where I had to type the brand of a deodorant to God, make the ad go away. You you schmuck. You did it. Anyway, speed stick or whatever it is. I don't right. know. I forget what the brand was. Mm. No, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take that, Newgrounds. What's so funny is like I built, I think mostly be, because I hung out with you guys mm-hmm. over the past couple of years, but I built my own PC and then I just been playing Steam games for the past two, like year and mm-hmm. a half. Mm-hmm. It's all McDonald's and I kind of, adware now. I just built like a crazy like survivalist bunker for myself yeah. oh, where I best. don't experience any of these things. Funny. I was when I hear about thing. it, I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's like, yeah. it's like oh, a thing that happens. Yeah, I was sitting here like, God, I, I don't get exposed to any of this. What am I going to say into this microphone? Because I don't yeah. feel like I actually am like experiencing any of it at this point. But like, it, just, I just it also just feels like it's it's going to create this weird cultural divide. Yeah. I don't know. It's always strange to me when I see people experiencing popular popular culture or even the news huh. or something in a way oh go ahead <laughs> <laughs> sorry i just thought about stupid huh. stuff go ahead no go ahead this you have to yeah you have to jake I, I just don't know the kindle right now you can buy you can pay money for the real kindle mm-hmm. or you can pay 30 to 50 dollars less for the kindle that just barfs ads all over your it's experience actually it's 79 versus 129 I think. oh so it's like right. twice as much yeah yeah I wonder if that's well, going to be the actual game. breakdown on PS4 and Durango. I've, I think that's... I mean, those are at least rumors yeah. that, that that's the case. I hadn't thought about that until now, and that's weird. It's funny yeah. because... I think it's like well, 300 what it does, right? Because then it creates a gross economic like the, divide also. Well, it creates yeah. a really gross culture where... It creates something okay, gross, Okay, so for sure. people yeah. who are less economically well-off are going to get the cheaper version to be told to buy things that are cheap and bad for them yeah. over and over and over again. Well, they're also just going to continuing be, to like, degrade the quality of life and keep them in the same social strata. Well, and also just just ruin ruin the notion yeah. of how you interact with like culture or like yeah yeah. Where it's like oh whatever. yeah yeah it's like you know like I don't know I don't really think it's as crass as like oh that's that thing McDonald's does or whatever. But I do think you know no it has the potential to set up a cultural divide for sure between between different yeah yeah I think like the sort of economic like, classes of people which is kind of like there's a whole like the world out there gold members and silver members. <laughs> They're introducing the new uh, bronze, which is ad support. I thought you were making an Austin Powers reference. No, I was referring to the Xbox Whoa, Live, uh, Xbox wow. Live cast system. You said that, and I went like, ugh. Like I made this like long extended van. Ma- you I- thought I was making a reference to Austin Powers Gold member? Yeah, I was making a reference. I was making reference to Austin Powers Xbox Live Gold. That's member. That's how much in contempt I hold you tonight. Because <laughs> I wow. think you're just. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even playing Neptune's Pride. I know. But I've already assigned somebody who I don't know, Jake's personality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this will, this will get him. God, so then in terms of the other side of the sort of desperation spectrum. This is there's a weird like, podcast today. There's yeah. <laughs> the, those hilarious Wii U ads that, that Nick pointed out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the weirdest thing. Yeah. Like, I guess they don't know how to market the Wii U they're, it's so sad. It's the saddest thing. It makes me really bummed. It makes you want to hug a Wii U oh, and a Nintendo I executive. Like or, or a Wii U owning like, hey guys, family. Here's the deal. What's actually good about this thing? Yeah. It's different. <laughs> okay, sure. Because what's funny is the first one of those ads, there's three ads, and there's one that's just a dad and a son, and the dad says probably in three intercut quotes of just like, oh, it is so different. Yeah. So different. Oh, it, oh, it is. is different. Oh, it is, oh, it is, it is so it different. It's just like they said. We're it's definitely different. upgrading because it's different upgrade, different upgrade, upgrade, yeah, different. Yeah, every Show time the, the word upgrade is upgrade, upgrade <laughs> different. Like, big yellow font that yeah. always says upgrade is like yeah. bold and yeah. yellow. Why didn't they just call it the Wii 2? People would have known to yeah. upgrade. Yeah. Why is there a U in the name? Yeah. Yeah. It's, we, a it's, it's, for, it's we, like it's inclusive. It's for us. It's the we, but it's for you. No, the last one means. was for me. <laughs> Who was the last one for? Oh, it's for we. It's all of us together. You, me, we, you, me, you. Everybody votes. <laughs> R.I.P. Everybody R. I. P. votes. R.I.P. We, you, me. Everybody votes. Upgrade. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's different. I guess it's sort of like when you're really like it's like John Hamm living in the bubble in Thirty Rock. Where he's like, I can't do anything wrong. We sold 200 million oh, yeah. Wii's. Oh, sure. yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter. Just throw a thing on yeah. there. People will know. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That's just every console generation, it seems. There's yeah. someone yeah. who's There's just all, like, someone who we've got it this time because we had it last time. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I a terrible no, we had it last like, time because we tried. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, oh, no. it's, yeah, it's, it's every time. It's hilarious. No. 
It was Nintendo I have, for quite a long time. That's too. true. It's Nintendo for three in a row. But yeah, we'll put yeah, these yeah. ads. You know what? And just because we don't mind putting ads on, we'll, we'll put we'll put free advertising up on the blog to let people look at these, or at oh, least yeah. link them to, to somewhere that is hosting them. I feel right. we should probably put some of these Wii U ads in the blog. Right? Yeah, we'll just do that after the episode. say dots yeah. to end this ad. <laughs> Say oh, Babu. But they are just unbelievable. Say the wizard. To end this podcast Throw forever. Wizard hat. <laughs> yeah. Actual Wii U owning families paid handsomely or whatever. I know, at the bottom it, it was. Just, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Actual Wii, Wii U owning families, yeah. like, Compensated. Paid for compensated for participation. Yeah, it was so crazy. It's like people responded so strongly to those ads where we brought families in to play the Wii about with the other with the original Wii. Let's do that this time. But instead of showing them having a good time playing games, let's have them let's talk have them, about like, the Wii. Reinforce yeah. these talking weird points that are like head. extraordinarily <laughs> important to, just, to hammer home. Like, please buy the system. You guys should definitely please get it. Well, I just please. want to see what the coaching please, before please each shot it. was. Like, I got would one. You say, would you say this is different? <laughs> would you characterize this as different? Oh, you got to make sure you say the different. word in your answer. Oh, yeah, it is really different. You know, than I thought it was. I thought it seemed that way. <laughs> you know what? It, it actually what? It was is what? a video what? game console. There's Read the card. Like, <laughs> there's one where the woman kind of peters off at the very end where she just goes, it's definitely something that a kid should have growing up. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then it's yeah. Like, yeah. Bring just, Wii U. Yeah. Upgrade. 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 Get upgrade. It. upgrade your child. Just please. <laughs> please. We, we need it. Please. Yeah. Please call upgrade. me. Please upgrade. <laughs> Hi, it's Jake Nintendo referring to a local please call me San please Francisco call me. plumbing ad or whatever it is. It's so impossible to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. You know the please call me ad? Yeah, yeah. They have like the handsome 50. <laughs> the guy, the guy's sort of looking at, but he's got the phone held up to him and he's like, he's smiling, but please. his eyebrows are crinkled just he's enough like to look a little desperate. Like, he's like, please call me at my family. Please <laughs> well, call it says, me. Doesn't it say please comma yeah, call me? Yeah, it says me? please call me. It's like, <laughs> they're going to kill my wife. <laughs> I need to like <laughs> fix at least six backed up U joints. Like this has to like I gotta. <laughs> I owe. I owe. Please. Oh. <laughs> we it's great. <laughs> it's different. I swear to God. Please, please call me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This episode is brought to you by the Wii U. <laughs> it's and different. It's, and upgrade and Pizza Hut and pickles. Make it your way. Please call me. <laughs> I had a cat named Pickles growing up. <laughs> Throw pickles, pickles at the screen. <laughs> the Kinect can detect up to like four skeletons or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if it knows what a cat skeleton is. It Chris, should. Do you know if the Kinect it counts as can a detect skeleton. an animal skeleton? Oh, I actually don't know. That's a good question. Probably, probably not. I mean, probably not. But that can't be that difficult. Well, it would be because they would have to. How do you know if it's like a stuffed animal or like an out real animal? You know what I mean? Like, but if, does it does, does it matter if you hold its does hands the up like human hands? Know that a blow up doll is a person? <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. Oh no, no, I mean it knows. <laughs> I mean, it <laughs> had, that, had that right there. Oh, oh, yeah, it does. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Why would I know if it knows if there's a blow up doll in your house? So we have throughout <laughs> our office, we actually have large cardboard cutouts. Like because we use them in connect testing. So like right near my desk, there's a big. <laughs> I don't, it's either Gandalf or Dumbledore. Oh, so you have like a Michael Jordan other, cutout on a train God. that you roll by? It's either Gandalf a, or Dumbledore. Yeah. yeah, you have a Michael Jordan cutout and like some uh, mannequins that you have like dancing right. around. No, Michael, wasn't Michael Chris Jordan on the walk, yeah. Yeah. It's like player? that dude who just walked no, Michael Jordan the hurdles. On the train and they all gather around <laughs> his that? ankles. Michael Jordan's on the train. Oh, he's on the train. Who was on the record player? I don't know. Who's on the record player in Home Alone? Chris Clint, I don't even know if Michael was on Jordan's on the train. Yeah. Someone was on a record player for sure. Sorry, this is spy code. We're having oh, weird, God. like, like mysterious, I don't know, trade craft happening. Michael Jordan's on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the record player? I don't remember. The mannequins are having a cocktail party. <laughs> but all I, was, all I meant was that, as far as the system Wet is concerned, bandits, uh, a person shaped thing is just a person. Like, from the Kinect standpoint, it's all just a person. As far as, <laughs> person as, far, as, far as the Kinect is concerned, yeah. a person shape thing is... That's so a when Kinect document. can kill, just, yeah. weird things are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be fine if we, make, if we have a bunch of cardboard thing. decoys. Yeah. Right. Well, the, they've got one of those built into every big dog. So You could just pop up like a Hogan's Alley, uh, yeah. Michael Jordan cardboard cutout, so that all Kinects fire at it and just tear it to shreds. <laughs> while the big dog leaps away, because as, as all big dogs know... Connect cannot detect animal skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DIY uh, big dog proofing just won't work. Yeah. God, fucking pet man. Mm. Pet man? That's the human yeah. one? Yeah, that guy's uh, screwed. The human from the makers of big dog whose purpose is to like <clears throat> test apparel? Yeah. That's their claim. 
I thought it was like to go get a thing. No, no they have no, autonomous, testing, autonomous like, human robots made by the people who made Big Dogs, yeah. which Big Dogs were started off as it's going to be a carrier for right. like heavy equipment. And then, of course, yeah. the first one that showed up for real has a gun on it. Right. <laughs> and is in my house what? tonight. Yeah. Um, but then Pet Man, they're like, oh, yeah, we created this for the DOD to like test wear and tear on military fabrics. <laughs> Anyway, watch us do a triple fucking right, yeah. through this window while firing a Kimbo Uzis. <laughs> and see if the sleeves tear. Right. Oh, yeah, the sleeves are intact. <laughs> These four people are dead, though. <laughs> God. <laughs> fucking pet me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You should Looking look at the video. Kimbo Uzis is yeah, fucking no. murdered me. That's... You should look at the video. Of is Pitman. that the same oh, one that runs God. really fast? Where they have the person, they have the human one who's like on a treadmill and it just runs and runs and runs and runs until it's going like thirty miles an hour. I don't know. That might be a pet man. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. they had one of those. No, that's and the were, cheetah. That's and the were... cheetah. That's the that's the fast. Yeah, there's animal. the cheetah robot. That but there was one that was there was human shape that could go really fast uh, too. And they were at the. And top... then it transforms into the cheetah one. It goes even faster. Well, there was. They, you know, it had all the wires coming off it because it needed a power source. But then the capture on the video was we're in the process of developing an autonomous oh, yeah. unit. Yeah. 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 They always don't have the, do that. They always have the wires on yeah, the lab yeah. one. Then they're like, oh, but it's really no effort to just put a laptop battery in this fucker. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it can carry its own batteries. It doesn't care. It can drag six corpses at this speed. So one full, battery. Stuffed full of batteries. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, connect would detect Petman. So if you're worried that Petman's going to come into your house and just inject you in the night or rip your body in half at uh, <laughs> speeds undetectable by your friends and family, your connect could probably catch it. <laughs> that thing's got to be running at at least 60 frames well, a second. Well, it's not going to do anything. Search. It's just going to emit like a red light and say, warning, Petman detected. What? No, the connect is actually going to, it's going to resume the advertisement that was d- 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 on. <laughs> you go to sleep and the fucking TV commercial stops. And then you're woken up because you hear, make it your way. And you're like, what was that? <laughs> The yeah, last, that's the last thing you will hear. Throws a pickle. Right, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> well, you just hear the ads starting, and that's, that wakes you up, and you're like, what the, huh? And then the last thing you see is two LED yeah. eyes, and then the pillow goes down over your fucking face. Right. And then on the way out, that's thrown past the screen, which right. is interpreted as the pickle. And then it goes yeah. back to your fucking Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're dead. Yeah. This is too bad. That's the future of games. I know. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, when I got to page, like, 42 of that Sony patent, I was really surprised. It got pretty dark. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, just the, like, clinical diagram of Petman just throwing a pillow over his shoulder. When the pages and, like, of the patent started erasing away. themselves off of your screen and you turned around and Petman was there, that was really odd. That's true, yeah. We should stop recording this half of the podcast yeah, now. let's take a break. Okay. We should die now. Bye. Bye. Forever. Video games. I can't even look at you in the face. I know you can't. What is that? Snake in the the ass. (laughs) 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 Wait, no, I said because snake in the grass. Snake in the grass. (laughs) (laughs) Sean is having none of this. Sean is just. Oh, so what were you calling, Nick? Video games. Kerbal Burble Bass Program. Oh, yeah. And then. uh, Oh, we're going to talk about Kerbal Burble Bass Program. Bro Bram. Bo Bo Bram. Didn't we talk didn't we talk about it on the We talked about Kerbal last week for a minute. That was before okay. you actually got super. That was when we said okay. we launched and, we spun a rocket yeah. into space, but okay. That's true. I haven't watched all the stream yet. Yeah. And we're back. But mm-hmm. I have to watch the rest of the stream. The stream is where some of the best Kerbal Space Program content can be found. At mm-hmm. It'll be better than whatever's on this dumb thumbs. podcast. Yeah. yeah, but it's also four hours long. So yeah, we need the second, but, the the second part of the stream, is probably in general more entertaining. The end, the yeah. end of the first one. If you want to do yourself a favor, go to the, the forums. Go to the Saturday stream thread. Go to the Saturday stream thread, and our good friend David, Secret Asian Man, has time stamped some all the good parts. Yeah. yeah, well, some of the good parts. Yeah, it's some the, what he determined. Sure, his favorite parts. There's there's a lot of Nick trying to get to the moon. Because that was the objective of that the, was the entire, entire stream, day. right? It's that like, was the goal for the today. Day. We're going to we're, we're going to get to the moon. Brecken's moon shot. But Chris busted out the guitar partway through, so it's a musical accompanied trip to the moon. And there is the most choice space asshole timing that has ever oh existed. It's, yeah. it's, uh, He's actually retiring that song. <laughs> it will never be played again. Yeah, it will never be used as, as appropriate. The end of the stream, because I had to leave. I was here for the first half of it. I left, and then I was able to catch the rest of it at home. When it ended, 
Oh, I just wanted you guys to like literally pull all the power of the building and just be <laughs> done and just walk away. It was such a trim. I was yeah. my I was, my mouth was a gape yeah. watching it. It was really really fantastic. Chris, uh, Chris nailed those songs. It was good. Yeah, that there was some pretty I mean, choice camera work in there. <laughs> <laughs> it came as gorgeous. I mean, it just, oh, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Every shot is just. So what have you learned so, in a week? So real, again, real quick, Kerbal Space Program is, is just a simulator where you build spacecraft, you launch them, you control them, you can theoretically land them on extraterrestrial bodies like the moon. Um, and it's just, it's just a very, very in-depth space program simulator. So that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, you know, it's because it's a sandbox game, you basically are just defining your own goals. I mean... And our, my goal was to learn enough to be able to attempt a moon landing on that stream. Uh, and I just barely made it like 1969 and then completely failed on like 1969. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, what have I learned? It's it's extremely in-depth. Um, and there are people who are clearly better than I am at doing all things like the well, modding community, the... Best. Oh, yeah. the um, and just the people that were on that stream and sending us links, that was actually the, the best yeah, part. That was my favorite part of the stream, actually. Playing ga- was games just, on the Adult Thumb stream yeah. is the community, like, just by virtue of just yeah. there being, like, hundreds of people watching, yeah. some of them are going to be way better than there was a veteran. Good. There was a particular see. veteran on that check stream. Check your gimbal lock. Yeah, yeah, like, check, check those gimbals. Oh, my oh God. God. Like, oh, you're right. <laughs> like, it was just a constant nightmare. Like, and the amazing thing about that is how many of those things that, like, we had kind of initially assumed were – flaws in the simulation or like incomplete things right. but in reality there were oh, yeah. just actual real world principles that we yeah. weren't properly applying that people in chat would be like uh you keep forgetting to do this one Actually, thing yeah. it's like oh my god we never did that thing right yeah it definitely um supported the uh, like it validated the simulation in a way that i didn't expect i thought yeah. I, I assumed that game was just simply imperfect because it's such an ambitious thing um, like I was making rockets earlier in the week that were just wobbling all over the place. And I was like, oh, it's just a funky physics thing. And then the, like within the first 20 minutes, this guy was like, oh no, man, you're never going to like, you gotta, you gotta attach those struts to the upper thing. And then you gotta, you gotta use these other boosters cause it's going to be, and it was just like, oh, well, pff, all right, I guess I'm an idiot, but yeah, that game is really good. It's really good. Um, I'd recommend you buy it and play it mm-hmm. and just explore for yourself. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just like that. I mean, you can set up like space stations, or you can just fly yeah. goofy rockets. In, I want to keep in, coming back orbit, to that, like that thumb stream save game, and like do more streams and yeah. start setting up a moon base and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you set up a moon base that you can then subsequently launch from? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, you you tank <laughs> fuel to the base and then fly another ship up. You know, you have less fuel once you get up there. Refuel off of the base and then fly off into space more. I mean, it's. It's like the game isn't going to stop you from, you know, right. like yeah. also, I mean, anywhere, solar yeah. panels. Like, I decided there's, there's I don't know a, if it had yeah. like the actual notion of like a launch pad and all that other stuff. I don't think oh, a launch pad, but it's more, it's more, I mean, you can land. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, gravity just, you just like land and you're negligible. Safe, yeah. Refuel and then take off again. Cause it's the moon. Mm-hmm. Cause we, right. we know how to take off from the moon. Yep. Right. Yeah. We can do that already. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. It's a really cool game. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I haven't played any more of it since the stream. Yeah. We'll do another one maybe in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Did it make you want more or less a multiplayer Kerbal Space Program? Because I know that was the thing we talked about last week as a thing that would be interesting, like sort of Minecrafting it. But does that seem less appealing to you now that you've been playing it? I mean, I feel like I feel like that would be a valuable thing to have. I mean, I, I think that would that would add something to the game. I don't I don't necessarily feel like it would be incomplete without it. Um, right. I think that you know the experience of playing it right now is is really fun, and I think I mean. I think it's definitely a game that you can play with, like as the stream, you know, shows. Right. If you have a couple, you can people. have an audience, or you can hot seat it. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. I, I think it's that kind of game where you can just kind of mess around with a friend, and that works totally fine. Um, yeah. And in fact, maybe maybe a multiplayer version would just end up being you just doing things, and another guy on the other side doing things, and it doesn't really add much. To right. The like Sims. I don't know. What, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, what if there was like an always online Kerbal Space Program with like kind of like solar regions? That kind of have some interplay, <laughs> right? Oh, but they're not actually connected. Uh, that's, that's not the a good. Nissan Moon, I don't, I don't lunar uh, refueling good. station. <laughs> yeah, Oof. they just yeah. got really cynical, guys. Mm, sorry, sorry. This is a fun wow. video game. Yeah, <laughs> Kerbal is. Yeah, mm-hmm. That really is. Actually, that's yeah, the way I good. play Minecraft. I just go and dig a like a, a hole, and then I'm there by myself. Uh-huh. Right. And I know yourself. that the servers are just there by myself talking, yeah. talk, uh, talk, uh, uh, talking uh, to myself. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's exactly what would happen. 
I mean, if I played on a multiplayer server. You just dig a hole in the moon and live there? Launch rockets out of it? Yep. Yeah. Rockets full of cheese. (laughs) There's probably a cheese mod. Yeah, probably. There are a lot of mods. Yeah. It's, good, it's a good community. It's surprising yeah. after two years and not having known anything about this game to just then pull the curtain off and see a thousand yeah. like, just this weird yeah. thriving. We're game. dumb amazing. for not fucking Yeah, I think that's, yeah. that's basically what yeah. I've learned is that we're just dumb for having waited this long to well, jump into Kerbal. That's that's also, it was on a Steam ad. That's also something in general that is just really amazing about about PC gaming just as a an activity is that stuff like that exists that will go completely unremarked upon mm-hmm. by like just the video game kind of general machine you know like yeah. it just it, people will you just won't see it but you can have this, an incredible vibrant community with a successful game and an enormous amount of creative like communal creativity and like total skill and like that and that stuff can can, can exist completely outside yeah. of the awareness of people who like write about video games for a living and like the people even most of the people who make them for a living like you know i mean it just these these things can exist as adjuncts and it's it's odd because you know, you talk to so many people in the video game industry. And this, this is this is so often remarked upon that it's now a cliche to even bring it up. But, you know, people who talk about how, um, you know, the PC is just not where, like, you just don't have that same, like, vibrancy as you do with, like, console games that get covered and that are, you know, like, have big marketing budgets behind them and this and that. Um, but it's – that which makes it really crazy to see this game, which is made by a Mexican video game developer and has, as far as I can tell, basically no marketing budget – and yet has an extraordinary community and like a really um, like a, a continually improving game. Um, I don't know. It's just weird to see. And like we're pretty tapped into stuff and like we still manage to somehow ignore this game for two years. Even though multiple other sites have done wacky live streams and all sorts of crazy yeah. stuff as has been revealed by the Internet telling us that we're way behind and are idiots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But whatever. That's fine. And like just theirs I, didn't have Bowie songs <clears throat> on acoustic guitar in the background. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they, they might have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I actually find myself wanting now are not, um, not like not like multiplayer, fine, whatever. But I, I actually kind of want to play the campaign. Like I, I know, feel yeah, like that'll be. Cool I feel like there's a lot of space there for really interesting <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> but yeah, like I want a. Um, I want like a space race scenario where I have to do something within a limited amount of time. I want. Mm-hmm. I want the like. Disaster, Having, the disaster want, scenario of just like a random thing failing as you're going to the moon. Do you want like, actual want, NPC Soviets that have a separate base? Oh, yeah. So, of course. Course. If you had to yeah. build redundant systems God. to like... Sorry, go. Oh, I was just going to say like the idea <laughs> of, what made you of not well, being uh, able to assume 100%. Like right now, if you mess up, it's yeah. all because of user error basically. Right. right. It's not because something failed. Yeah. Right. The, the, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But just the idea of a Soviet, of like a, a competitor, like that is actually maybe the multiplayer that I want. But you like want like, Kerbal Space Race? Yeah, I do. I kind of want Kerbal Space if Race. If your buddy's playing with like different standard parts and mm-hmm. stuff, like that would be fascinating. Oh my god, that would be well, good. Well, there's got to just be a oh, full Soviet shit. mod. You could, you yeah. could surely download no, there is, the entirety yeah. of the Soviet yeah, yeah. space program for a Kerbal there's a Space Soyuz, Program. Yeah, uh, my, Jesus, I was, by, by the way, just like in like learning about the moon, because that's what you do when you play a game about going to the moon. But like, did you guys know that there was like a a, a lunar, or like a an automated probe that was sent by the Russians two days before the actual Apollo 11 launch. And it crash landed on the moon while Apollo 11 was on the moon. Like, oh yeah. The, I, did, I had no idea, but they, they launched a probe that was automated to bring back a soil sample and beat, beat the Apollo 11 crew back with their soil sample. And it launched, I guess, I guess it actually launched before Apollo 11, but Apollo 11 then, still made it first. It made it. It made it to the moon first. It landed first. But while they were there, they crash landed this probe not too far <laughs> from where Apollo. Like, ah, this was just blowing my mind. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, just random thing that you can know now. What a I, weird world that would have been. Also, we had a guy on the moon, but then like they're on their way back. It's, uh, excuse me, we've got moon soil yeah. here already. <laughs> now we have yeah. it. We what got if, it uh, oh. two hours ago. So you came back with some moon soil. What if Armstrong had just gotten crushed by <laughs> yeah. the soil collecting Soviet robot? No, I know. Soviet God, the Soviet robot just, yeah, God. Cut, and then just a little flag pops out of the top of it. Right. And the Soviet lander, like, there's a... Like, the international plays, and that's <laughs> you can't hear it at the end. There's no, there aren't any pictures of this of this Soviet lander, but there's like an artist's conception of it, and it looks like the most bizarre like insectoid design. Like it looks exactly like what you're describing, something that just looks completely alien from what the like. Does the it looks like that crazy was. six-legged autonomous yeah, robot that's yeah, on the end of YouTube right now. Yeah, it's on the like, YouTube. <laughs> on the YouTube. 
Yeah, no, it's 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 wild. Weird. It's weird. So it's hopefully, weird. does that does that Soviet probe exist in as Kerbal Space Program as it DLC? Should. Yeah, I hope so. Someone should That's make the artist's conception of that insectoid yeah. robot. So then, if you think that your opponent in the space race one is getting to the moon, you can try and compute exactly how to launch <laughs> insectoid mass at them to crush them <laughs> when they <laughs> make it to the moon. So they have to yeah. stage a second launch, right. which you've hopefully won up to by immediately following. <laughs> Your insectoid robot with your moon capsule. Yep. Anyway, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah. God. What a crazy game. What a good yeah. game. It's really good. We also played, Nick and I, I think we both played another sort of weird semi-simulation game, Papers, Please. Oh, yeah. I, guess yeah, I, played, I, I played a bunch of that last Did night. you play a ton of it? Okay. I, I only played I, well, a little. I, I so played I, through day seven, so I don't know how far oh, I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I crashed before that and oh, assumed okay. that I'd played all of the things, but yeah, I, didn't. I didn't actually, so... Well, that was so, another yeah. thing. Because this game is incomplete, you can download it for free right now. It's called Papers, Please, and it's not done, so you can just get an in-development yeah. version. And uh, it was weird because I just didn't know when... It, go, it just... You, you play day by day. You play day one, and then it ends. You play day two, and then it ends. You play day three. And, like, I just have no idea how far it goes. And by the time I finished day seven, I'd been playing for a right. while, you know, yeah. like a few What's hours. The you play as a, so, yeah. Yeah, you play as a, essentially an immigration control officer in a fictional, kind of a, in a, in one it's country of sort of states. a fictional yeah. Soviet bloc country, basically. Um, and you have to, the entire game is you are in your, um, like, immigration booth and someone comes in and you say, papers, please, and they give you, their passport and like whatever other documentation they have and like the demands on documentation change day to day and you have to basically inspect them and look for discrepancies like oh is their passport um uh expired or is the name on one document different from the name on the other one or like does does is the city of of issue like non-existent or is it actually from a different country than their passport says they're from or like you just have to scrutinize all this stuff um for discrepancies and either approve or deny their entry visa um and it and it's i mean like this sounds like the driest thing and it actually is pretty dry but it's also um pretty striking because i mean the game has like a well really it's strong... because of that second layer because because you're this guy who has to get through all of these these papers and every person that you clear gains you like an extra 20 dollars or something to your salary so you're racing against the clock every day to push more people through but then at the end of the day, it goes, okay, you push this many people, this is your salary, and now we're subtracting this much food, or this much for food, this much for whatever, to feed rent, your family, you know, yeah. rent and all that. Yeah, so, it, and, like, I guess there's a layer to that that I didn't experience, which is that I think you have family members that, I don't know. Like, Well, I family members start, like, they will become hungry if you, right, like you yeah. it's, it's really harrowing. It's like cart life in a way, except that you don't. In cart life, you do all of the parts of the life. Right. You know, you run the business, but you also Fold the papers and... go home and like you, oh, yeah. you know, you find a place to live and you you manage your life in between work. But at Papers Please, <clears throat> it's just the job, and then everything else just occurs like overnight like a as a score screen, screen basically. Yeah. And like your son will get sick, and then it's like, oh crap, you have to pay you know five dollars for medicine, but you only have five dollars, which means now you can't buy food, and your wife is sick, and, or like your wife is hungry, or whatever, and like. I, most of my family died, like, mm. uh, you know, by the end of the first week, it was, it was horrible. Um, and if you let people through um, erroneously, if you if you approve people for entry and then it's determined that it was actually an error, like if they, you know, again, if they um, falsified documents or if things were incorrect or whatever, then you get warnings and then they start docking your pay eventually. Um, and so you and the game is set up, you know, deliberately to play on that. So you'll. I mean, I guess I shouldn't spoil some of the things that happens, but yeah, but, they, there are but the game introduces things, but... things that make you, you know, really start to like not want to deny certain people or not want to admit certain people, like for 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 various yeah. reasons that are you know like all handwritten by the author of the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's good. The game has a really strong. I mean, it's unfinished. Like, there's a lot of parts in the game that are like graphic will go here, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. But the the interface, I thought for uh, inspecting and approving, oh and man, yeah, is that interface is great. It's incredible, it's shockingly like, good. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. That, you can tell this it's was the satisfying part satisfying to just move things around and just yeah, pick up stamp a paper. things, yeah, and oh, like man. you can tell this is the part of the game where the mm-hmm. guy put a lot of <laughs> yeah, effort. your favorite shit. All I love is that. Oh yeah, you should, oh yeah, Jake, you should play this because it, the guy did a, a bang up job oh, yeah. with it. Like you you dr- you physically drag the documents from like where they slide them under the grate into the inspection area and then they get bigger because they now are like in your view. Um, and there it's just, everything about it is very tactile. 
like you get the big chunk when you put the like the approval thing on like it's just it's really good and you can tell it's what he knew was going to be the bulk of the game so he clearly focused on it before mm-hmm. worrying about all kinds of other polish like yeah. it it paid off big that he polished that before worrying mm-hmm. about like making yeah. everything you know super yeah. done um and so i don't it at, at, in the state of the game i'm not sure i want to keep playing that much more because i feel like it just could keep going on forever um, and I assume that the actual release version is going to have more of a specific arc or like, you know, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm sure the guy is trying all kinds of different things to like spice things up and like make things, you know, and introduce interesting uh, problems into the system to, you know, that the player has to contend with. But um, it seems re- like a really strong foundation. This is another game people keep telling us to play. Like mm-hmm. we've, we've had a lot of readers who are like, have you played yeah. Papers, Please yet? Play it. Play this game. Like people, would, we've gotten a lot of emails yeah. about it and tweets and all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. It's on Steam Greenlight too, so it is. So I yeah. voted maybe yes give it, give for it. Some it. Help. Yeah, yeah. Give it that thumb. Mm-hmm. Or just say yes. I think you say yes. I don't think it's a thumbs it's up. Not a thumbs up. No, I think there's a little thumb, and it says oh. yes. I yeah. think it's Steam says, Greenlight brought to you by Idle Thumb. It says Idle Thumb sent me here. Thumbs up. <laughs> Go to um, SteamPower.com/slash/wizard uh, for your free Steam game wizard. download. For your free Steam <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> for your free Wizard. <laughs> Don't go there. Don't, Don't go there. No. Go to Google and type in "Papers, Please" Steam Greenlight. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. actually helpful, Jake. Actually, if you search actually, for "Papers, Please" Steam say, Greenlight, is the very first link. Their SEO is, I guess. Yeah. You don't even want the Steam Greenlight link, though. You want the you want the link to their. Well, no, website. you go to Steam Greenlight and he has <laughs> a link to the first build. sight unseen. Well. Give it the thumbs up because that's what you do as a fan oh. of a video game. Then you play <laughs> okay. the video game. I see. Accurate. Um. Anyway, that game is cool. <laughs> Do we have any reader mail of other people telling us to play games we're not playing, like Kerbal Space Program and Papers, Please, and um, Mario? I haven't. <laughs> have you guys played Mario? Have you guys played the new Mario? Um, I haven't seen any, but <laughs> it's, it's better. I've it's seen, uh, upgraded. I've seen the new Zelda. Better uh, upgrade. That's all Get I it. Need to it's do. upgraded. It's if, different. If you are a reader, though, and you have a suggestion of a game that you if think I you'd was like, a reader, let us know. How would I let you know? Questions at idlethumbs.net is the email address to which you should send these suggestions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, send you an email. What if I want to follow the latest updates from Idle Thumbs on Twitter or Tumblr? Oh, you can go to at Idle Thumbs on Twitter or blog.idlethumbs.net on Tumblr. Or on the internet anywhere. Or just on the internet. <clears throat> yeah. Um, okay. Real email. Jake Sermon says, hi, guys. I was, uh, this is Jake Rodkin says, hi, guys. I was really impressed watching Nick play Kerbal Space Program on the stream. So after I finished watching Nick land a Kerbal on the moon, I clicked another random Kerbal stream on Twitch TV. This guy was calmly piloting what looked like a space telescope into the cargo bay of a massive space plane. The majesty really blew me away. Of course. Keep up the good work. I'm sure they'll make it back from the moon someday, Jake. <laughs> what? Well, the reason I read God, that is that's like, oh, that was, that was, that's like, that was oh, gosh. Yeah, I was really impressed. And we then, just got done having sex, and like it was really yeah. nice. But I had sex with this other guy once, and it was yeah. way better. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, right take care. Right, like, yeah, right, yeah, 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 right, yeah. Like, then I went down the hall. Yeah. Following yeah. Then I fucked another guy, and it was awesome. He had a giant, just huge. Yeah, yeah. Huge. It was nice. Yeah, your roommate, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next mail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Mark Holdgate says, Hey, Mark. I will try to keep this short. He fails completely at this. Um, <laughs> no. Don't even say it if you're not actually going to try. Come on. Come Maybe on, Mark. You can, hey, go you, back up to the, you can go back up to the first sentence and say, just delete that first yeah, sentence. Yeah, just delete that first sentence. Exactly. Maybe let's not, let's yeah. not put on airs. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Many of the, Enjoy the giant okay. podcast. He has an entire paragraph about he, uh, how he is a long-winded person. That Okay. All right. I'm not even going <laughs> to dignify it with a reading on the air. Um, he says, I was interested by your discussion regarding how, how the design of video game encourages us to explore and experience the world. It reminded me of a pet peeve of mine that tends to ruin games. Nick, no, Nick Brecken's experience with Todd Howard telling him he was playing Skyrim incorrectly was a perfect example. Why does Skyrim reward the player for breaking the narrative and escape scene by rewarding them for digging around in barrels for cabbages while a giant lizard is reducing everything around them to ash? Recently, I played Tomb Raider in Bioshock Infinite. I was struck by how differently I, escape, I, I handled the more frenetic escape scenes in each game. As a gamer, I've been trained to check every corner for loot, regardless of the narrative that would best fit the game. Gotta get that loot. Game narrative, yeah. Fat loot. 
um, in Infinite, during the scene where Booker and Elizabeth have to escape a building being torn apart, Mm -hmm. I found myself saying, go ahead, Liz, I have to check under the staircase for hot dogs and pineapples. In Tomb Raider, somehow, the environment successfully communicated to me the times my role in the scene was to run and jump and not worry if I missed a box containing a bolt and a thumbtack that I could use to build a grenade launcher attachment for my assault rifle. I don't know exactly how they did it, but the environmental designers in Tomb Raider made me trust them that I was not tempted to comb through areas in which doing so would break the narrative. Um... I'm not sure if this is, the rest of this is a different question or if it's the same question. Um, the answer is simple. He, he has another example about no. Mass Effect 2, but I, I feel like he basically explained what he means already. Um, What's the simple answer? Don't put stupid shit in your game to collect. <laughs> yeah, I do but feel Twitter like... But has stuff all over it too, I think. I know. But I mean, that's... Look, I'm not I'm not differentiating between Tomb Raider and Bioshock in this instance the way the reader did because I didn't play Tomb Raider. But I don't know. I mean, I would if be. If your guy wouldn't look for a pineapple, don't put a fucking pineapple in the game. Yeah, no, I basically agree, with, agree with that. Like, I, Sorry, I don't think you should God. never not. I don't think you should never have collectibles, but I think collectibles have become one of those. Like, this is what I've talked about on the Skyrim thing the other day, yeah. where it's like, don't include an entire category right. of things to collect just because that's what video games do. Unless it is, that's it. Like Crackdown, collecting all those no, stupid crackdown, orbs, exactly. Yep. Was awesome. Yep, it absolutely so was. So good. Yeah, I totally agree. Mm. Yeah. You disagree, Nick? No, no, I don't. I don't disagree. Is this, I think, an, is this an insight to your theory? <laughs> I think that also that just runs in direct proportion to how tight a grip your story is supposed to have over your gameplay experience. Because Crackdown, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely, is just like well said sentence. Who gives a crap if you want to go find some orbs? Mm-hmm. It's Crackdown, but like Infinite and Tomb Raider, that type of game, like mm-hmm. the intent always feels you know, like it's supposed to be the emotional arc. Yeah, it, it feels like you your goal is supposed to be one and one with your character's goal yeah. and like that's supposed to be all the heal in the back you need but then also there's all this other shit all over the place but mm-hmm. then there's all I think eat, Skyrim like, sort of that's, that gets into different territory with Skyrim I, I, it's Chris, tougher it's, it's, it's way tougher that's, Skyrim, no, 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 it's also not because Skyrim's yeah. most tightly cramped down in the beginning when that dragon's going ape shit. So well, if you're, right. if no, you're I mean, what eating I was going, all the food out of the barrel, right. then what I was going to say is that story than yeah, anyone yeah, else yeah, in yeah, that yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess totally. that comes down to a very specific like level by level thing. But I think, Chris, though, I think you were sort of arguing that as a whole, Skyrim doesn't need that. I wasn't arguing that. I was saying that it doesn't oh, okay. necessarily. I don't mean to put like, words in your mouth. I'm I just going to remember what it you're wasn't. I wasn't trying to like bite off my like global opinion about Skyrim. I was just saying. No, that's fine. Most of what I think about game design is not opinions that should always be applied to a game. It's more yeah. that people should be willing to not just assume yeah, the yeah. thing because they so often are just assumed. That's a better – yeah, because like, I think it's a much more perplexing design problem in Skyrim, right? Because yeah. there's no differentiation between a scripted, like, cramped down in-game story event That's mm-hmm. except for a exactly. dialogue yeah. where yeah. you're actually locked into a dialogue right, 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 versus right, right, right. Yeah. the systemic open world. But, game from, a level, know... but from a level design standpoint, you could just – like, I assume that in the level creation tools for that game, there are things where you can specify, like, you can at least affect the random roles. But some of the nature, really some of the magic okay, well, of that game is... You could design a game in which You could do it, but it would, be, it would be an extraordinary amount of work for a little gain in this case, I think. Because I think there's some of the, like, the, the thing that's special about that game is, oh, I'm in this guy's house... Right, and mm-hmm. there's stuff everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like I can pick up an apple. I can. Yeah. Pick, this his weapons yeah. are here. Everything's here. Books, everything. Mm-hmm. There's just all this stuff that I can touch and, and be around. And then you leave. You're like, oh, that was a neat little area. And then three hours later, you're there. But now you're being chased by a dragon. There's something else systemic in the world that happens to have right. happened in that space, mm-hmm. driven mostly on the system side. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? Just like hide all that stuff no, no right? i know you're you're totally right yeah. and I, well, again i wasn't saying they should just take all that stuff out of skyrim right, right. Um, i'm just saying it's a really difficult problem yeah, yeah. no it in, is in for terms sure. of skyrim then, specifically i don't think it's a difficult problem yeah, yeah. no the other game in Infinite. Yeah. well no and then there's stuff and then there's stuff like oh, you know resident evil 4 that. or whatever which is like I hear myself being an asshole right now <laughs> no well and i don't think well and a lot of what's good about games Christ, John. about the sort of system <laughs> like kind of um I'm also a blasphemer if you read the forums <laughs> um uh, a lot of what's what's like interesting and uh, appealing about games from the uh, Looking Glass legacy, like System Shock and mm-hmm. Bioshock, and games like that, is that you they do encourage you to kind of look in every corner and so on and so on. But it's right. just the Bioshock series, like between well, Bioshock and this, is on kind of a trajectory right? towards the more guided right. experience in, in the first place. It's so. easier to be that guy all the time in Thief because that's what you do. That's right? true. You just hang on the shadows and you take shit. The other that's thing about that, does. it's a thing that's I think been talked to death, but the um the widening gap between 
aesthetic and narrative fidelity and systemic fidelity is mm. getting bigger and bigger. Like in oh, old yeah, in old Thief I, games and System Shock games. But I, I still think that's sort of a, mm. no way. Fuck that. In in <laughs> uh, point well taken. Jake. In in old ass Elder Scrolls games. If you walk up to a barrel or a thing that has items well, in it and, cho- and choose use, stuff pops out, but the fidelity of that experience is low enough that your brain can imagine, oh, the dragon is attacking me, so that guy's probably hurriedly tearing through stuff looking for stuff. Or, like, he's leisurely going. You can, you can, it still breaks down. You can paste emotion all over it. So it's, it's so much closer to an actual Dungeons & Dragons experience that gets played inside of your brain. Like, I feel like... I agree with you on that. In Bioshock Infinite, Booker has hands yeah, you're right, that you're act right. the meaning of a moment when that moment is decided that Booker's going to act it. But when Booker is pulling stuff out of a barrel, he doesn't have hands. And if he never had hands, then you could read the meaning into all of them. Mm. But when he has hands that are amazing sometimes, and then sometimes it just goes, <laughs> and just a million, <laughs> and like, yes. thanks. I, I think, I feel That's like at, at a certain point, it just reveals that divide so hard between the game is putting high fidelity meaning on this and really low weird systemic meaning on this, but they're two things that are functionally the same as a human being, and right. that's not that breakdown didn't happen before the story side jettisoned way up in production value. Like right. no, it it's totally true. Right. Right. There's a lot of that. You're right though, totally. That when you're playing thief, you're a thief, so it makes sense to be yeah. pulling weird stuff all over the place. But like System Shock Two. Well, also, th- is, is closer, think, like, well, system shot games are closer in, ahead, in all Nick. ways because you're also alone. Yeah. And well, I mean, also, like, there's a the scavenging yeah. element, but just any of that stuff, I don't yeah. know. I was just going to say one thing that Chris has brought up in the past that is totally true about Skyrim in that it's is super it's goofy. Oh. Well, no, it's super goofy that you're carrying around like a thousand things. Meanwhile, everything around you is like an extremely high fidelity experience, and you can see. You, you know, your weapon is modeled accurately, and like everything's right. fucking gorgeous. But you're but meanwhile, 40 axes. You, can, you have yeah, you've got sixty axes and like dragon bones in your face, like presumably right. just all over you. Like, I mean, that, it doesn't make any sense. That happens all over the place. Like that's yeah. I mean, that, that's the sort of the RPG well, Skyrim's the but Skyrim yeah, is yeah. the the thing that to go Jake to your fidelity point, the thing that makes it hilarious in well, Skyrim, Skyrim has is that you down exactly too. is yeah. that sixty well, axes. Thing. You're just booking it sixty one axes, just, and you're like, oh like, god, it's so heavy. Yeah. like that's just a funny thing about about the systemic stuff in that game where it's like. Yeah. The they're trying to model things that are simulating actual reality, right. but in doing so, they're heightening you, the unreality you, of the. Of if you the, have a right. game where that's the aesthetics what, yeah, don't have that, I mean. and then suddenly just a light comes up that says your character is encumbered because you hit the threshold, and it's a game that looks like a like VGA PC game, you're like, okay, I hit the un- encumbered threshold. But in Skyrim, when you're jumping and running mm-hmm. and moving around in all these crazy ways, and then suddenly. That same exact system that was powering like the Super Nintendo or like '90s PC game comes in. It's funky. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, weird, no, yeah. it is weird. It's funny, and I mean, you'll see but, mods that try to. Correct well, and like, and too. for example, so I, I've probably told I probably told this on the podcast years ago because it's such a funny experience to me. I was I oh the yeah, yeah I was uh, in an underground cave like just. As I always do, as I can't stop myself from in a video games, game, sorry, like, collecting. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I have my laptop with me, as you always are, right? as I in always am, cave, in, in, in that too. cave. Anyway, um, in this in underground cave, cave with my laptop, I was in Skyrim exploring an underground cave, and uh, and I was just as I can never stop myself from doing. I was picking up every possible like mushroom growing on the wall and like flower and rock or what and probably not rocks, but like just whatever. <laughs> and uh, and I and I got to the I got to the <laughs> end. Like I got to a dead end, but there was like a light coming in from the ceiling. I could see that I could kind of climb out. And then I started hearing like a monster or or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, oh, fuck, I got to get out of here. And like um, I I think there was a dragon or something. And I'm like, fuck. And and as I was becoming aware of this, I picked up like just – I was already encumbered. So I was already walking really slowly because that's the kind of horrible player I am is I will put up with just crawling if it means I don't have to drop more things, yeah. like that's my part of my it's reaction. It's so funny to these because systems you are like, that guy. It's like you resentment. Totally love picking everything up. I don't love it. I'm compelled no, do, to though. do. It. No, it's not the same thing. I know. It's, just, uh, it's like the sad version. It's you. like the sad <laughs> episodes of Hoarders. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. I'm compelled to do it. Yeah. There is yeah, a, I mean, a Hoarders is Skyrim video. Yeah. And uh, and I'm like, oh my god. And then I and then I picked up like just one one too many things and I was immobile and I'm like oh Christ and so I just went into Meanwhile, my Lego too much that's when, that's when he yeah. quit the game well then I went into my inventory 
and I and I just went into my like consumables section and I just mashed on what is E or spacebar. I can't remember yeah, what the yeah, thing yeah. is that you like just started e. eating all of the food. And I just ate food. every single piece of food I had, and then and like <laughs> mushrooms and herbs and like just everything, like ingredients, like salt, like just everything. <laughs> And and then I and then I pressed escape. Well, this sad crying guy yeah. just stuffing his face. Like, it's oh, the God, fucking I dot gobbler kid. Yeah. Just roar. <laughs> and then I hit escape to get out of the menu. Sprint and my screen out. just <laughs> exploded with like every single oh, status effect, effect yeah, that yeah. had just been applied from like dozens and dozens you and survive? dozens of different things. That, yeah. And and what was hilarious is you then just touched that dragon and it exploded. <laughs> well, no, I mean I poisoned myself and healed myself and like <laughs> like nine you know, times over. Like yeah. I mean, it's just every yeah. Um, and and then and so it was just like a particle effect bonanza for for like ten seconds. Um, and then what was hilarious is that I was com- I was compl- I was like weightless, and it's like I literally just ingested like. 300 pounds of food and now I'm just like and digested <laughs> yeah, right. and evacuated yeah. 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 ran out of that cave I guess, uh, yeah, shitting I guess, and screaming I guess the like simulation <laughs> pause, sparkling yeah. wildly yeah. Like some of those particles oh. you just couldn't see amidst the other yeah. <laughs> like when oh god when you're riding those deer it's in castle crashers just a <laughs> column of diarrhea projecting yeah. you out of the cave yeah I'm gonna mm. No, I just want to make that mod where trees grow or like flowers grow out of your manure. This is just <laughs> He's got a mod on the manure. To manure plant trees. Yeah, yeah. I just want to add that to plant trees. If you though. overeat, if yeah. you eat when you're already at max health, you just God, shit. Yeah. And if then plant, plants yeah. grow in it. If plant yeah. trees was just innocuously still called plant trees, right. but also inexplicably yeah. added like involuntary defecation, <laughs> like that was just part of the a, a feature of the plant yeah. trees. But then mod. you can pick up the manure and use so it. To like, plant so the, the change thing, log like, for like version like, for like vo- version one point two of this mod. With with like bullet list like added ability for trees to grow out of your feces, and then the next bullet point under that would be your character now expels feces. Like that's what you'd have to do. Guess I know what I'm doing with my weekend now. Like I got those plans figured out. Oh man, tinker miss. <laughs> you disagreed with me about the fidelity thing, Sean. I wanted to. I stepped on you like a jerk. We can move on. Oh, no, oh. oh, I've already. I've, 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 Oh, no, remember how we remember how we pooped on this guy for being long winded? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's remember how remember how trees medicine. grew out of the uh, yeah. yeah. So there's a tree growing on this table poos. now. Yeah. Are you checking our pod? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, let's call it. It's, it's been a great. long podcast. Cool. Yeah, subscribe to us on iTunes. Thanks for listening to us on our podcast. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank right, it's like questions at Alpha Oh, also, if you um, were not, if you are by this point not completely sick of everything relating to Neptune's Pride 2, and you think you might want to play it, you should go on the Idle Thumbs forums at forums.idlethumbs.net, and there are um, thumbs readers have been setting up games with each other. Um, so I'm sure that uh, would be a good way to get into the game. You can hate a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there's strangers who share interests you. With can you. befriend a stranger on the forum not knowing that they're the person you hate in Neptune's Pride 2. That's true. I think they're doing the thing where they they draw. They're doing name draws out like, of the hat. I, I think so. Oh I'm man, not positive about that. But mm. I mean, if they're not, they should be. So <laughs> if they're not, you should start another game in that thread where you do that because it's the best way to play. I'm Baboo Wizard Baboo. No, now someone's, knows, someone's now going to make that Jake game is. now. Yeah. I'm Jake Rodkin. And there's Baboo Wizard Baboo Two as well. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wolf Cop. God. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Week, guys. Goodbye. Thanks. Video game. Kerbal Burble Base Program. Kerbal Burble Base Program. Kerbal Burble Base Program.